Anthony's Ward here. We decided to do a little Miami vlog, take you around the city, and this is just the life of asshole. Yeah. Please show me that you're doing more. Please show me that you're making more money. Please show me that you're living better. Please show me that you have a bigger house. Please show me that you have better cars. Please show me that you have. Five cars. Trading routine now. What's a day in the life of Q Banks now? I mean, now, 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 it's a bit different now. Um, I'm not as hungry as I used to be. When it comes to like my in-person classes, like how I used to do like my seminars and that kind of stuff all, all around the entire world, um, I stopped doing those of last year when COVID actually hit. I was like, yeah, fuck that. I'm about to retire too. Yeah, right. Right. That's yeah, yeah. I don't want to be around anybody, anyways. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about your your slogan, Forever and Profit? Yeah. So Forever and Profit pretty much is it's a brand and it's a lifestyle. And it's a lifestyle. That much because I can fucking make that money inside a market and not and not have to spend forty hours teaching a person. Yeah. Right. You know so that I was like, a fucking I, lie. I value like my time more than anything else. Yep. Mm -hmm. And I I'd rather not teach and pretty much focus on on my craft and get better at that. So that was a fucking lie. So much time because like the reason as to why I retired inside the first place was. Bro, I did like, let's say 56 classes in a couple years, 50 hours a week. I'm all about pressure now. Like, I want to be the best in everything I do. So I surround myself with people that are better than me. The event was amazing, honestly. Like, way bigger than I even expected, honestly. Just like the first event that I've actually been a part of. So um, to see that this is like my first time experience is a great feeling. Like, when it comes to like my in-person classes, like how I used to do like my seminars and that kind of all, all around the entire world, um, I stopped doing those from last year when COVID actually hit. I was like, yeah, fuck that. Honestly, this is like the first event that I've actually been a part of. So. When they, when they showed that that uh, Quillen Black was going to be working for them, I think they were giving him a happy birthday message. So many people were just dogging on him because of how bad he was. Because they they actually claim him to be a student, so he actually must have gone through a, some sort of one of their courses, which is angering because it's like, wow, really? I mean, you made everybody think that you self taught yourself, and you know, actually, in fact, you went to these you know, jokers and, and, uh, and paid them God knows how much money. And then you probably went to them and made them know, Hey, I can actually bring in more people. You don't understand the following I have huge stuff here is the fact that it says that he started actually trading in late 2014. Well, let's just say that we're, we're going to give him the benefit of the doubt and give him all of 2014 as a year. He, he studied, uh, that he studied three years, three to four years, um, in the stock options market. Why is it that this guy still busted people's accounts? He still is not, you know, a not a valid trader. A lot of people can attest to that. It's stuff like this that really angers me because people like this, they, they love to flip around different companies trying to rebrand themselves, trying to wipe the slate clean. And, you know, a lot of you guys will fall for this stuff into IML because they knew, oh, look, here's a, here's a, uh, a well-built company that already has the people that I can just take on. And that's exactly what happened. Another person actually last night sent me um, a huge post that it had about 300 comments on Facebook talking about this guy and he got he got involved but 
talking about just how bad of a trader he was and how many, you know, how these accounts were busted, how he never would post a MyFX book link. That's another thing is these guys will not post a MyFX book link. They use the same hustle. They all use the same grind canvases in their backgrounds. I mean, they, they literally just must have a Forex Gurus for Idiots seminar that they put on and all these fuckers just line up and pay whatever price because they know that there's way more money for them selling courses than there are in actually trading the markets because they suck. They don't know what they're doing and they are trying to convince you that they do. Price action. You hear all these douchebags talking about price action this, institutional candle that, trade the way the banks trade. Bullshit. Holy shit. If I hear one of these things one more fucking time, I'm going to fucking pop somebody in the face. I mean, it's just crazy. You know, it's like, what, you think they've got some inside information? Seriously? You know, they're 22 years old and, and they know how banks trade? Fuck, they don't even know how banks work, much less how they trade. Is life changing. You feel what I'm saying? I feel like everybody should be tuning into this type of information because it's actually evolutionizing the space of the thing that I would do is I would um, wake up and like look further price wise, and then when I went to bed, where it was price again? And then on the weekends, I'd go back and say, okay, so price was here, but then it was here, but then Tuesday was here, and then it was here, and then learning those guys. What the fuck? So, you know, like, I would break down like the price of like. There's a lot of opportunity in between. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, zone to zone works for a little while, uh, but where's your entry, right? So, like, you understand when you get to the zone that there's an opportunity, but you don't necessarily know where to enter, right? You just get excited, you get the emotional states. So, usually, there's the fuck you candle that gets people one way or the other. And if you were on the opposite side of it, you often miss out on the true motion, right? And a reverse will be on my always about to reverse right now, and then the market keeps going in the opposite direction. Yeah, I, I know I remember you saying you, uh, you want to see momentum slowing down, or you want to see a um, big week rejection from when it comes to retest. Is there anything else, or this mainly about the only two things you want to do? That's amazing, but out? you got to have the confluences as to why you. You have to have the confluence. So, Everybody marks up their chart on Sunday. You put away. Yo, the information is life changing. You feel what I'm saying? I feel like every You already know what you want to happen. Yeah. Now you need the confirmation for whatever it is that you want. So Besides these things right here, candlestick analysis, market structure, learning how to scale, learning to trade, and um, I'm fully understanding the press action. Yep. Yeah. Is there anything else like I'm pretty sure you learned a lot more since that video came out? Is there anything else? It's, it's definitely a lot more. Um, um, what is that price action? Um, what else? I don't give a fuck. All these top tier traders. Yo, the information is life changing. You feel what I'm saying? I feel like everybody should be tuning into this type of information because it's actually evolutionizing the space of.